Hello and welcome back to another episode of Settlement Survival. I am the White Seer and we are continuing our playthrough with Newtown. Very default generic name. Uh, yeah, people are pretty stressed um, in the town, but look at all these geese. What an amazing noise hearing them honking about. Um, yeah, so in the last episode we decided to uh, upgrade our pastures a little bit. We've changed this one from buffalo to geese and we've kept the original buffalo which is at capacity now and we also made this a hell of a lot bigger so uh, yeah we are hopefully now about to start producing um, some turkey meat um, and hopefully this is going to help our town a little bit um, in the episode before that we set up the school so actually we've got I think it's Matthew in here he's now educated um, which is going to improve his efficiency um, and yeah, we hope that um, hope that the town can now start growing. We get rid of these nasty red bars and get back to normal. Um, first things first, though, is to get this food situation under control, uh, and then hopefully we can start getting some people back into making tools, um, getting sand. I think I've got poor Normans down here in the the quarry here just on his own, and uh, I think I've got one guy in the mines. Sorry, one lady in the mines, Karina, over here just doing her thing. Um, and we've kind of neglected the things that we wanted to get into, like furnace burden, going down the uh, smelting route to make better tools, things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hit the go button here, and uh, we are hopefully going to see a bit of an improvement now that we've got our farms running. Um, I mean, people aren't going to people aren't running around uh, trying to murder each other at the moment, which is good. Uh, we made the decision potentially to turn this area here into farming and uh like quarrying and uh up, up here certainly gathering at the moment i know we've got big area up here gathering um and then maybe turning this area here into our sort of town center with this area here as storage and things like that with a bit between just to save uh journeying back backwards and forwards but obviously a lot to do before then first thing is we uh we need a few more people so we are waiting out. We do have random fires coming, but we'll deal with that when it comes. Hey, we've got some turkey meat and some goose meat now. So hopefully, I think actually, if I go into the screen here, I think we have potatoes. I thought we had potatoes. No, we tried to buy potatoes. They were really expensive. Um, we could get oat seeds to make fodder. I don't think we're there yet, so we'll just have to uh, we'll just have to wait. Okay, they are still troughing down all this food. Uh, that's the other thing we wanted to get into is more tools. We don't have any. We could do with um, upgrading our pastures. Um, but yeah, without the tools, we won't be doing that for a bit. Right, let's get one of these pea farmers into turkeys. Just a quick shout out to Kari Nation once again, who has been commenting on pretty much all of my um, settlement survival videos. Must really love this game, so uh, thanks for doing all the research for me. But yeah, it's been confirmed, I think, that the turkeys and the geese do actually um, uh, mate faster than um, buffaloes so doing that was a pretty good idea um, yeah so hopefully if I can fill these up with people we'll be drowning in turkey meat and goose meat so that's kind of the plan Um, although we're like we are neglecting everything else, I'm wondering how efficient these fisheries actually are. Let's take an extra person off of that. Put them onto turkeys. Merchant ship has arrived. We literally have nothing to sell you. I could probably do with all of that, but there's no way we can get it. 
Okay, we're not actually building anything at the moment, so I'm going to take another person off of building. I've got somebody on repairs already. Let's just get this food situation sorted. Um, we've always got fuel problems. Hopefully we're going to have crap for days. So let's do one, one of those doing poo and the other one doing timber, I think. See if we can actually add some timber. Education is great, but we kind of need people to come to work. How are we doing for fertilizer? 21. Okay. It's kind of a wait and see job, right? 19 tools now. Current year. So that's 675 more food than we had last year. Uh, that's a hell of a lot more food than we had last year. This looks like it's going to be maybe about the same as last year. And we've probably run out of linen. Switch back to leather. We've got we've got a backlog of shoes. That's useful. Good to know. Look, we're providing all the happiness stuff that you asked for, apart from candy and probably alcohol. We don't have enough alcohol. Come on guys, we need the meat. You would have thought with all of these fields that we would have enough food. And now we're out of clothes again. I mean, what are they doing? What are they doing to ruin all of their clothes all at the same time? I mean, this guy's a vendor. He doesn't even do anything. Okay, turkey and peas for dinner, guys. Oh, we actually have a selection. Nice. Beeswax. How are we doing for soap? None. I mean, we've got beeswax. Beeswax for days. Okay, goose four eight one. Turkey eleven six eight. So I'm wondering actually whether we take a couple of people off goose, put a couple more people on turkeys. Eleven hundred in a year. That's cool. Swimming in turkey meat. And we're going to have fuel problems as per usual. It's 50. Is that gone down again? I thought we had 55. Paul's died of old age. Donald has decided to go to school for further education. We've got places up here doing absolutely nothing. Okay, we've got an extra person. Let's uh let's put them on turkeys. I wanna hammer this turkey meat. So is there different levels of sustenance that the uh the foods give? Like obviously we can get more turkey. Meat, the the hand buffalo meat. Um, obviously, that makes sense because we could probably slaughter thirty turkeys in one go and one buffalo. Um, does turkey sustain the the villagers less? I 
I mean, they're all hoarding it in their houses. Like, look at this one. 65 turkey meat. Yeah, they're still coming over and taking it. This is one guy. 65 turkey meat. He's a student. Like, baked beans and a slice of bread. Come on. We've all been there. I think they want too much. So we made 533 goose meat last in the last year. 286 feathers. Last year we made 1160 buffalo meat. 219. So, um, but we had more people. Okay, I think what we're going to have to do is make the advanced tailor. Get rid of this tailor's workshop and make the advanced tailor. So we're going to build that over this side um, because it's a production building. I'm going to try and put it around a centralised storage kind of area here. Um, I do want to get some closed warehousing units. We don't have that yet. Um... So, I'm going to actually put it slightly out side. There we go. And we're going to try and only use stone roads over this side. I want to get this one done. I want to close the other one down over here. And I want to start making stuff out of goose down or whatever it is we've got. There wasn't one for better efficiency, was there? No, it's the same. Okay. Okay, so these two are the same. Okay, got one of those, got one of those. Making one of those. Effectively, we've got two of those. Got those, got that, got that. I believe we've got one of those. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look. So we've lost another person. Where have we lost them from? A fire has broken out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where was that? That was a month ago. I completely missed that fire. I was probably looking at a menu or something. Uh, I guess it was up here. Let's rebuild that. Just in case we ever get the people to go back up there and use it. How are we doing for turkeys? Yeah, I mean, we are barely making enough food here to feed the town, right? We had all those lovely uh, fish resources along the river, they were gone. Um, yeah, I guess the moral of that story is uh, don't abuse what you have. New tech point. We are going back to agriculture. Okay, next it's the nursery, so we can grow herbs and special crops in the field area. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can start actually getting some medicine type stuff going. This is dropping quite a bit. Stone is okay, timber's near. Yeah. Water's been going down steadily. Let's, um, two people on that one over there. Let's put somebody on this one down here. That's maxed. Uh, I want somebody ready for this, um, I'm gonna put him in the builder's cabin for now. So I want somebody ready for this, uh, tailor's, uh, workshop. 
Then we're going to dismantle the other one. And then I might actually move the, um, what was it? The leather workshop over here as well. Uh, that's right there. Let's put that next door. Oh, we've run out of planks. Right, um, let's make some planks. Current year. Now we should do um, a couple of thousand, I would have thought. Plenty of dung as well. Okay. How many do we need? 50. Prioritize that one over this one. This one can be paused. I'll tell you something, they they eat the food up really quick. Twenty-four turkeys in there. You watch sixty-one turkeys, but they go straight away. People come along and go. Do you know what? I've got ninety-one turkeys in my house. I uh, I could do with some more. God, is that just turkey? In, like it's in front of the other turkeys, guys. Oh, he's had to walk through it. No. I'm not entirely sure that they understand that I've paused this one. Why are they putting planks in here when I've prioritised this one? Therefore this one needs to go. This one here has been paused. They're still putting planks in. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, they're probably bringing that this way, so let's, let's do that. I swear to God, come on, this one here needs to be done first. Apparently got 15 planks in reserve, so that should be done by now. Every time I see somebody walk past, I'm like, yes, no. Well, it's winter and we have no fuel again. I don't understand. Oh, we need special plantations so I don't have to have logging camps. Can somebody please bring three planks over here? Oh, where are they? They're right there. Do I need another person in there? So what it is? Oh, we've lost all of our farmers over there. Let's um, bin off the pea farm. Let's take somebody off that. I'm gonna put them over here. Can you please move the planks over here?
Christ. Okay. That's, I mean, that's, that's the most food we've had for a long time, right? I've jinxed it. I've totally jinxed it. Come on. There's five planks in here now, like right here. Why are they taking crap over there? Some of the pathing in this is really funny. Yeah, we've made some linen up here. Sorry, right here. And then here is our current place for making clothes. So they've stored it over here. Which doesn't make any sense, right? Builder Max has died of starvation, despite there being an abundance of food at the moment. That's more food than we've ever had. He's died of starvation. Well, Builder Max, if you'd have gotten yourself to any of the uh, any of the areas here, I mean, go and talk to these guys. There's 68 turkeys in there. There's no reason for you to starve. You should have just come to ask. Ridiculous. Okay, let's unpause this. Are they going to start filling this up before the other one? If they are, I'm going to be really upset. We've got builders, right? One in there. And we've got one over there. It's a bit wonky. I'll be honest. It's a little bit wonky. Ooh. All citizen stress minus 10. Citizens minimum health plus 20. Um, let's take the stress down by 10, shall we? really would like them to build. We have 50 planks. We need 3 and 26, so 29. So you can now go back to making uh, fuel. I'm not making any more planks. In fact, stop making clothes. Just go and work in there for a sec. Stop making shoes. Just go and work in there for a sec. And then I can come down here and we can demolish this and that. Oh, it's getting built. Finally. Okay, we need repairers. So I should probably build a repair shop over here as well. Uh, let's put that here with... Uh, oh, we could put it there. Okay, let's um, take one person off there. Oh, we've already got someone in there. Okay, Harry can go in there. Right, we are going to make... Uh, we also need linen as well as feathers. Okay. Warmer than rough clothes. Down jackets. Okay. What else can we make? Luxurious coats, silks. Oh, backpacks. Uh, we need cotton for that though. So we've got rough clothes, um, or down jackets. We can make down jackets. Let's get, let's use the feathers. 
and the linen. We'll start producing that. Same as that. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can start producing some good stuff now. We're weaving flax for linen. Okay, so we're really going to need to up our linen game here. Let's, um... Use for brewing. Can our brewery deal with that? Uh, no. Fast maturing, low yield. Let's try that. Oh. Okay. Food. We actually have food. Just noticed. That's pretty cool. Okay. So we're going to get a repair shop in here. We have somebody working in there. Already? Oh, we have a snowstorm. What does that mean? Requires warm clothing to work outside for long periods of time. Oh, God. People are cold anyway. Look at it. What madness is this? Are people going to start dying? <laughs> How fast do you think this fuel is going to go? Hey guys, I've got fuel. Bam, gone. Okay. Let's see if we can survive the snowstorm. Uh, we've meant to have immigrants as well arriving. Um, which would be really handy. Because we could do with them. Um, let's make Harry go to work in here. And he can start making... Um, leather shoes. Just until we hit 200. Frozen to death, frozen to death, frozen to death, frozen to death. Immigrants have arrived. Okay, join us. Try not to freeze to death. Right, let's pause it a second. I want some food off of that. We're going to need leather off of this. I want extra flax from that. Um, what have I got going on over here? We've got somebody in the repair shop already. Um, we need... Well, we need all sorts of stuff. Um, I have two people on that field. An extra two people on this field. Okay, go. Get to work, everyone. Herdsman. Not from my turkey field. Oh, God. Okay, I've got to take somebody off or something else. Um, do you know what? I'm going to leave it as it is. See if we can strike a balance here somewhere. It's a crazy snowstorm. I think pretty much everybody we just took in is dead, right? Frozen to death, frozen to death, frozen to death. Might have to mute my mic for two seconds just so I can slam the desk. <laughs> What's this in here? New no, Grove. Okay. Great. Okay, so everybody we just had come along has probably died. Um... On the plus side, at least we took them in. Uh, yeah, it's uh, we're down to 44 people, guys. 
It's um, not ideal. Most of those people are making food. Um, do we still have loggers? None, none, none. We have one logger over here doing all the work. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we're struggling now. Okay, guys. Um, oh, wow. The list, the list is going on. Frozen to death, frozen to death, frozen to death. I mean, what are they still doing outside? We had no linen. Okay, guys, we are now down to 32 people. I think it's about time to end this episode. Thank you very much for joining me today for some more settlement survival. I think we might have to uh, start removing buildings that are getting in the way or clouding our, uh, clouding where we want to be and focus on a smaller, tight-knit town. Maybe this one with our farming down here um, and a few gathering stations. Might be time to do that. May well be time to restart the game. Um, which is a real shame because we're starting to make headway here. I think. We're starting to pull it back. Then we got hit with that stupid snowstorm. We got an increase in yield from fields coming, so we might actually just give it a go and stick it out. Um, but once again, thank you very much for supporting this series so far. Uh, check out my other stuff if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you around for the next episode of Some Settlement Survival. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and stay safe.